this is April with Primitive Mommy and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make your own liposomal vitamin C today. And I use, I think it, it's really hard to show you this, but it's organic acerola powder. I do not like synthetic, synthetic vitamins, so I do use everything food. Um, acerola is extremely high in vitamin C, so it works really well for this. And you can also use Camu Camu organic camu, camu, camu powder, or you could use amla berry powder. So those would all work. Or you can use the synthetic vitamin C if you prefer, but I prefer not to use that. Um, then you're gonna need um, the fat. And we're gonna use sunflower lecithin. And sunflower lecithin actually has Phosph phospholipid in it called phospholtidylcholine and phospholtidylcholine is really good for you so when I started making this I was making it for the benefits from the vitamin C but I didn't realize how much I needed the lecithin so I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute <clears throat> so we have three tablespoons in here of the lecithin and we have three of the, um, uh, the acerola so then I also have my ultrasonic jewelry cleaner so that's where we're going to put All right, so we went ahead and put the lecithin in the water, and we're going to go ahead and put our berry in there, acerola berry in there. All right, and we're going to just combine those. So I'm just going to pull some together for a second. All right, so now that we've got them both combined with the water, we're just going to let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes so that we make sure all the lecithin breaks down in there. Okay, so we're going to take it out of here, and we're going to pour it in to our jewelry cleaner. So this will only take half. I have to do this twice, and so what I do is we actually just pretty much drink one of the batches. Probably I'll save the second batch. That'll be enough for all of us to have our first dose of this. And now I like doing small batches because I want it fresh. So I'm just gonna turn that on and then I'm gonna run, run it five times to make sure it all gets nice and combined. So this is the fats from the lecithin combining with the vitamin C. So, okay, so I use glass, a glass straw to stir this, and you want to stir it um, frequently while it's doing this. So, and you don't want to use um, metal. You want to either use glass or wood if you have a wood spoon. Okay, so it has stopped, so we're going to go ahead and turn it back on again. And we're going to give it a stir. And while I'm doing that, I can talk to you about phosphatidylcholine, which is found in sunflower lecithin. So, um, phosphatidylcholine studies have shown um, that it can improve learning, aid in memory, help promote healthy skin elasticity, and support optimal liver function. It also pre prevents um, age-related cognitive decline. So that's huge. They're actually using um, doing studies on phosphatidylcholine for Alzheimer's patients because of the it prevents the loss of mental acuity. So that's a huge um, fact about it. When you take a pill of vitamin C, you're usually only absorbing about 20% of that pill because um, it attracts water and loosens your bowels, and so you're only able to absorb 20% um, during that time. Um, with liposomal vitamin C, depending on what you read, the absorption rate is around 85 to 95 percent. So that's comparable to a vitamin C IV. So you can make this in your home and basically get a vitamin C IV dose of vitamin C and you're getting the wonderful phosphatidylcholine with it that you would not get in an IV. So Phosphatidylcholine is an integral component of your every cell in your body. So it's extremely important and it's not something I really learned a whole lot about until I started looking into making my own vitamin C. So it's actually something I wish I would have tried when I had all the eczema before um, and sensitivities. Um, because um, phosphatidylcholine is good for skin health, maintaining cell structure, fat metabolism, improving memory, nerve signaling, 
Um, it's a precursor to neuro neurotransmitters. It's great for your liver. Um, it helps with intestinal health, like I said, the leaky gut, um, neuropsychiatric disorders, and even weight lo loss it can help with. So I want to talk to you about storage and dosage. For storage, like I said, I like making the small batches um, for several reasons, but mainly because I, want, I worry about freshness. I don't want to worry about it losing its potency in the fridge or going bad over time. So I make these small batches. They last me about four days to a week, maybe like five or six days sometimes, depending on how much everybody decides they want to take. Um, and we have a family of five here. So if you wanted to make a bigger batch, you certainly could do that. Um, and then I also I store it in a glass jar and give it as little air space as possible um, to make sure it stays nice and um, fresh. And then for dosage, you can start out taking like a tablespoon a day if you want. You can just gauge it and see how you feel. Um, I take quite a bit more than a tablespoon a day. I take about half of one of these glasses a day, or it just depends on how I feel. You also want to make sure you tape it on an empty stomach, and I, I wait about 45 minutes before I'll eat anything after taking it. Okay, so I've went ahead and dumped the vitamin C just into a large pot of Pyrex, and then I can pour that out into another jar easily, or pour out doses for now. I'm going to go ahead and give everybody some vitamin C and I'm going to go ahead and get my last batch started. But that's it. That's how you make your own liposomal vitamin C at home. And I hope that you can make your own. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.